Some people hate themselves. I don't like my body, I don't like who I am, I don't like this, I don't. How awful way to live, I hate myself. It's much better to love yourself. So in New Age teachings, you learn to let go of this dysfunctional relationship with yourself, and then this is a good thing. It's much better to love yourself than to hate yourself. So, but you have to achieve that transition, not easy. If, if the hating yourself has been deeply ingrained, you may have to put little stickers on your bathroom mirror, I love myself. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and everywhere. You are lovable. Oh, thank you, thank you, yes. <laughs> and again, this is fine. It's a transitional stage. It's not the final stage. Sometimes in New Age things, it's the final stage. It's a, it's a lovely transitional stage, but really it's the stage of uh, awakening is that you begin to let go of having a relationship with yourself so that you can just be yourself. And you have to be in the present moment in order to be yourself. There's a, there's a gap in the stream of thinking. Then. What, what is there when there's a gap in the stream of thinking, like now? And in that gap, there's a, there's a stillness, yes? Um, there's also a sense of, there's something there, but it's hard to describe. There's a sense of presence, of beingness. And in that sense of presence of beingness, you know that you are. You know, you can say, I am. You know th that without adding any qualifiers to it, without adding anything to the I am, it's the pure sense of being, which is I am. It's very peaceful. You need an alertness to sustain it just for a little bit. Without the alertness, you will immediately fall back into the stream of thinking. But it's not, you don't use willpower to, to stop your thinking mind. That doesn't really work. So you don't hold your breath in order to stop thinking. That does, it might work for a little while, but then you think even more. It's like a boiling kettle. Hold the lid on a boiling kettle. Just alertness. And so Jesus said, as I said at the beginning, and what I say to you, I say to all, stay awake. In some translations, it's, in, it's uh, translated as stay alert. What I say to you, I say to all, stay alert. That alertness is consciousness without thought. It seems at first just to be an absence. It seems at first like, okay, stillness, one could say is the absence of noise, in a stillness, an absence. It's, it might seem at first as a kind of nothingness. And yet if you, if you stay with it for a little bit, just a few more seconds, stay alert, then you can sense it's not just the absence of something, it's also the presence of something. But not so much the presence of something, but the sense of presence itself, not of something.